Hello crafty friends, this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping in. We've got some fun little Christmas things today. I had this Easter little truck and I thought I'd redo it and make it nice and cute for this Christmas video. Christmas in July. And I wanted to do, you know, I thought, well, maybe we'll do a red. Nah, red is so, yeah, everybody's doing red. So I decided to do it white and use the embellishments to, you know, add to the color. And of course, you got to do a little line work. And so I used a Sharpie so it doesn't smudge. And I'm just kind of marking off a little bit so I can cut those Easter eggs off. If you had a really sharp knife, you could do it that way. I decided to go down to my scroll saw and just cut that out. And instead of getting out my uh, Cricut, I decided to just do it by hand. And I think it turned out pretty good putting Christmas Tree Farm on there. And then I had purchased this little sticker sheet um, a, at least a year ago and decided to just use some of the pieces on that to um, embellish this cute little truck. So I got the Easter eggs cut off and I'm thinking and thinking and so I decided to uh, look into my little stash on what I had for greenery. And this is what I had. I like how these little spruce pieces look. And when I put it like that, I thought, no, that doesn't look like a tree. So I actually put it upside down. And then you, you know, you kind of got to tie down your tree a little bit because it's so fluffy. So then that's why I put the uh, jute string around it, pop those cuties in the back. And I secured the back with um, a popsicle stick so they wouldn't fall out. And then this is just the bottom. I'm using that nice green Waverly and then one of these uh, acrylic pens from Arteza and we're gonna do some more line work. Just I thought I did it on the on the uh, truck door so I can do this again. Actually, it's very relaxing and fun. It looks like I'm zipping right through that, but I really did take my time. And I wanted to put all those words, but I ran out of room. And you can also see I misspelled spruce, so I had to fix that one up with a little paint later. No problems there. And then uh, I did just a little line work. Not as easy to see because it's a dark green, but that matched the truck. And just attaching things that it had already and uh, so it could hang on there nicely. And I did secure the back with uh, some hot glue so those didn't move around and a little glue to put those cute little wheels, the little hubcaps. I love how this cute little uh, truck turned out. I just, I'm glad I went with white. It just makes the line work stand out and every little detail stands out a little bit more. And this is the fun part. You could do however you wanted to with this, you know? I hope you guys like my tr cute little truck. Wait and see what I've got for more cute ideas. DIY number two. Okay, this is a quick and easy one. You can get these little domes at Dollar Tree and they are plastic. Everything's plastic. And all I wanted to do is put something cute in there and some snow. And so I was just checking things out. Do I use the big one, the small one? I went with the small one and then I wanted to do paint my own little snowman. And just uh, put a little white on him. And then I'm just going to put on some eyes. Using the back of the uh, paintbrush works out nicely for, you know, getting nice perfect little dots. And then a fine liner. I really like to go with the Sharpie. 
And in the past, I've made these little guys and, um, you know, I've really gone in detail and I've made a little hole with the drill and put in a little carrot nose making a toothpick. Um, but this time I just decided to draw on the face. And then just use your scraps, make them a little hat, however it works for you. Doesn't take much. And then I had made him a little bit of a scarf to match. At this point, it looked like he was like ready to clean or something. So I trimmed that and uh, ended up putting a little uh, cute little tassel thing on the end. And then I decided to put a little band of uh, white uh, felt around there to give it a little bit more looking like a stocking cap. This was fun to do. It's kind of fun to do this kind of stuff again. And um, you could add arms to that if you wanted to do a little more. If you get the, uh, you know, get the drill out and make little holes. You could have went and went. I put could have put some sticks in there for arms, um, but I opted not to. Now this was all I did. You could uh, add, you know, a little word in there, a little sign. Um, you know, let it snow. That would have been super cute. A little ribbon around the bottom. This is all stuff after I've got this all filmed and done. You know, <laughs> I think of these ideas. Oh, but it was fun to do. DIY number three. Okay, back to napkin art again. I love this truck. I think I had to order this. You know, you you get like a couple napkins for like four bucks, but that includes the shipping. And now I'm just going to put it on a coffee can because these are so adorable. And good old Mod Podge. And I did not, that, um, that napkin was two layers. I did not separate the layers. I just put it directly on because I kind of wanted that. I didn't want anything to be see-through. And then if you wanted to go into the grooves of the coffee can, just use a, a slightly damp, um, you know, the sponge, and it'll push it in there. But be real gentle because it gets a little damp. Then it wants to shred, that kind of a thing. And now I'm just going around it. I thought white would be the key, painted around it white. And then after a while, after it dried, I looked at it and I decided, no, white is not what it needs. But I let that dry. And now I'm using this lid. I want to make a, a top for it and probably where I went wrong with this and it's not looking wrong but I ended up trimming around the lid like I trimmed off the edge so that made it a little bit where it's um, you know too flexible and I'm showing you you can do this with a knife it's very uh, you know cumbersome and takes a lot of time so honestly I did go down and do it on the scroll saw I finished all these on the scroll saw and then just shape them with the um, you know go through and get them shaped how you want with your sanding paper I trimmed off the edge and therefore this thing made it very very flexible and so with glue and all that it did want to bend um, so either use something more sturdy or try it without taking off that band so anyway cute idea you know I just um, layered those on there and put the tape on there so it would glue nicely I did weight it down so nothing was gonna bulge up and just gave it time while that was drying I was looking at this and I said nope I would want this to be metal because look at how that metal shines to the top there above the truck so then just go through it and I actually started out with the metallic paint I went over it again with a Waverly 
uh, I believe it was steel color and then I did do some elephant color too and if you want a little white in there a little you know whatever you like it to look like and now my lid is dry and so I thought I will finish this cute little lid it does look really cute in the end came up with an idea for a handle and I just used a couple of little beads and then they were selling you might find it I did buy this at Dollar Tree it's just a jute string with wire in the middle and so I just kind of popped that in there and glued it down and made a handle A little Mod Podge just to give it a little shine. And there it is. It turned out adorable. I love it. And before I took this little photo shoot, I had to bend that lid just to let you know. It, it wasn't perfect, but um, it turned out really cute, though. I mean, I'm glad I did it. DIY number four. I hope you're enjoying my Christmas in July. This was at a Goodwill, I believe. I think it's a dollar and a half. And I'm just basically going to give it a little charm. And you'll see what I'm going to do with it. So uh, popsicle sticks, mm, they weren't big enough. So I decided to go with some of these little, it's just like a thicker, what do I want to say? It's thinner cardboard. It's flat. Um... And so here it is. I'm just gluing it down with good old, um, it was glued down with um, wood glue. I went over it with a couple of uh, coatings with the white paint, Waverly chalk paint. And then just going to mess it up, you know, make a dirty, grungy farmhouse with both colors, elephant and steel. Do it to your liking. In some spots, I didn't like, you know, it looked maybe too dirty. So then I just went back with the white and cleaned it up. And then finally, with some sandpaper and had those stickers out. So I decided to pop one of those on there. It turned out super cute. And that's just a cute little thing to hold a tree um, for Christmas. You can take something little and just add, add your embellishments and paint and come out with something completely different. All right, DIY number five. Now I had this popcorn tin and I've been looking at that thing and decided to do something with it today. And so getting out my little crimson red paint and I actually did just rough up the edge to make sure because it's like a very thin, you know, flexible, flexible metal and I, I wanted it to not chip off so then I painted it and I'm going around to kind of sturdy up the back of it with a little bit of thin cardboard and here's my beautiful craft papers I offer on Etsy I was searching and I came up with one that I liked and I'm going to use this one to cover up and make that inside Basically, I got rid of the plastic and I'm putting this back on the inside. And because those uh, little decals on the uh, window clings, it looked like they're on wood. You know, it's got that wood background. That's why I chose to go with this. Even though I trimmed along that so well, you can't even see the, the wood look. And then just to give it a little sturdiness, I put it on some, uh, it was cardstock. I trimmed it out, but I wanted it more trimmed because I thought it was too big. 
And then I've got this cute little ornament. This was from Hobby Lobby last year, and I decided to pull out some of the words just to give it a little bit of, uh, you know, a little character. And I used the mineral on the very Merry Christmas part because it matched his uh, earmuffs. And now I went, wanted to distress everything. So, you know, a little paint. Run it along there. This was a fun video to make. It was fun to get back into the Christmas uh, items, but I'm sure glad it's not Christmas. I'm going to make this uh, second part of this uh, Christmas in July and going to do kind of focus on some ornaments or maybe some tiered tray items, you know, maybe a combination of things for next week. Pop on that cute little snowman. And I felt like that mineral color blended in too much. So when I glued it down, I ended up going over everything with white, including the snowman, because he was much too shiny for this country little piece. It's been a busy life. I've had some uh, family come to visit and it was so fun to have them. It's just uh, takes away from the crafting time, which is definitely okay. And uh, so I finally got my video out. I'm excited about it. And hopefully, you know, you all can give me a thumbs up and keep this video going around. It really does help out my channel. I thought it needed a little trim, so I just put on put on some of that little nautical rope. I did a combination of uh, the E6000 and the hot glue, so it wasn't going to go anywhere. And I needed to make some kind of a topper, or you know, something to hang it by. So I ended up weaving, like getting the two taking one out and weaving it like with the third with the red and you know wouldn't that be cute if I did it around the whole thing that would have been really cute but you know how it is and just putting a little paper on the back to make it nice and then if you ever have any of these find any of these uh, wooden uh, snowflakes pick them up because there's times when you just need them you know and add a little embellishment well thank goodness we're not here at Christmas but we've got some fun things here getting ready for Christmas stay tuned for my next video I've got more ideas and uh, thank you so much my friends for coming over and watching my video please give it a thumbs up and pass this along you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my friends.